Jesus Christ, the word of Allah, became flesh. And then at the end of the day, he lived a life on earth. Guys, Jesus Christ, according to the Quran, is actually God. And I'll show you guys easily. Stick to the point. First thing I like to say is this. According to Islam, the word of Allah is Isa, Ibn Maryam. Isa, son of Miriam. According to Islam, Isa is a spirit proceeding from Allah. The spirit proceeding from Allah is Jesus Christ. We all know that the spirit of Allah, spirit proceeding from Allah, and it was written, proceeding with I-N-G. At the end of the day, it means it is always in the continuous turn. It means right from eternity past to eternity future, it's always proceeding. It means he has the same age as Allah. It is uncreated. Full stop. So once we see something that is uncreated, we automatically think about there is nothing that is uncreated apart from God. So if you find something, my cell phone, which I'm using to make this video, is uncreated, it means this cell phone is God. So if you find anything which is uncreated, anything that is uncreated is God. So uncreated simply means eternal, simply means God. So we have three things that are in the Quran that are in eternal. The word of God, the spirit proceeding from God, and Allah himself. The word of Allah, the spirit proceeding, and Allah himself. And then what do we find at the end of the day? Jesus Christ is the word of Allah. Jesus Christ is the spirit proceeding from God. Allah, Aru Allah. Uh, I think the, the word is the Muslims usually say is Kalumatula. I don't know the name. I don't, I don't know Arabic. But anyways, Kalumatula is something related to Jesus Christ, the Spirit. And then uh, the word of Allah, who Allah is also called Jesus Christ. And then we we'll find out Allah is also uncreated. So, and then these three people are three different things. They are not. Allah is not a spirit. That's the first thing you have to understand. Allah is not the Quran. Allah is not the word of God. Allah. Allah is not. So Allah is different from the spirit is not Allah and Allah is not a spirit and then uh, the word of Allah is different so what do we find in the Bible in the Bible we have the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit the Son is not the Father the Son is not the Father the Father is not the Son the Father is not anyways there are three physical distinct people and then all these three people the Father there's, there's more many, many verses that are saying that the Father there's this the Father the Father is in the Son and the Son is in the Father and then the Holy Spirit is inside the Father. And then we have all these three people are uh, one. That's what the Bible says. We have one God. There is one God and one mediator between God and man. There is one God all over the all over the Bible. And then there's one being, one being, and inside of one being, we have three different people. So that's what the Bible is saying. There are differences between these three people only in terms of functions. That is the main difference between the Father has different functions. The Bible says in John that all what the Father, I repeat, everything, all what the Father does, all what the Father does, the Son does it. And everything that the Son does, the Father can do also. Do you understand? Do you understand? It means when a Muslim come under the comment section of this video and say, Yeah, why did the Son never knew the date, the exact day of judge, the day of judgment, the day of the, this, the day, the day, the day? And then I'll simply tell him that he did not say in that same verse the exact words and the things that are going to happen until that day is going to happen. So it means this is the day. And then he said, Before this and this and this and this and this and this and this will happen, then we have the day. And then he said, We said everything. It means there's only a problem of function. The function of announcing the day is only left to the Father. Only a difference in function. But in the Quran, we see different things. We see three physical distinct people that are having, that are doing what they are doing. Give your life to Christ. I beg you guys. I really beg you guys. If you have any question, feel free to cast, ask a question in the comment section. Like this video, subscribe also. Please, 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 please. Let me land on this thing before it makes five minutes. So that it makes five minutes. This, according to John chapter 1 verse 1, we have, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And the word became flesh. And live among us and that word is called jesus christ the word of god was with god and the word of god was god and that word of god which was god in the beginning became a human being and so god according to the bible god decided to enter his creation to enter his creation and to do one thing and to 
and to give his life so that we can have full reconciliation back with him. So if you believe in Jesus Christ, you have eternal life. If you don't believe, you don't have eternal life because your sins are still cleaning on you and you will die with your sins. You will die in your sins because justice has to be made. You have to pay the price. You just, just you don't just say mercy. God is merciful. Forgive me and he will forgive you. He has to also say he is merciful. Yes, I forgive you. But what about your sins? You have to pay for the fine and the fine is eternity in hell. Repent and give your life to Christ.